You will often find array questions in TSA rounds if they are appearing for a fronted interview. Don't worry, I am here to help you crack your dream job. My name is Vedant and you are watching the JavaScript array series on JS Cafe. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So today we will be solving the question valid anagram. So it's the question states given two strings s and t return true if t is an anagram of s and false otherwise. So what does an anagram means? An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a word or phrase typically using all original letters exactly once. So let us have a look at this example. If you have a look at S, it is A-N-A-G-R-A-M anagram and T is uh, just uh, formed by rearranging the letters from the variable S. So how can we say that? If you have a look at the S and count the occurrence of each letters, for example, let us pick A. So A is occurring once, twice and three. So it is occurring three times in S. Now let us check for the occurrence of A in T as well. So in T we get one. 2 and 3. Wow. So we get uh, we get to see that the occurrence of each letter in both S and T is same and also the length of S is equal to length of T. What I mean by that is the length of S which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 7. Okay. Now the length of T is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 as well. So we can say that S and T are perfect anagrams. So why does example 2 is not a valid anagram? Take a pause on the video and try to find out. So I hope you got the answer. So for S, the occurrence is R A T and for T, it is C A R. So you can see that A and R are occurring both in S and T, but character T is not occurring in this variable T, which is containing string car. So we can say that S and T are not a valid anagram. So having a look at this example, can we conclude to some logical explanation? Yes, we can. So let me grab this example over here and let's try to formulate a valid algorithm. Let me grab my pen and here we go. So if you see, we have S, uh, okay, and we have T. Now let us try to uh, stick on the logic that first thing that we will check is the length, the length of both S and T. If there is a difference in the length of S and T strings, then it means for sure that these both strings are not going to be an anagram. Can we say that? Yes, because let's say if S and T are valid anagrams in this case. Now, if I, for example, if I add one more letter Z over here, now will that create a difference between the length of S and T? Yes. And Will now it be a valid anagram? No, right? So we can clearly say that if the length of S and D is not equal, they are not valid anagrams and we have to return false straight away. What if the length are equal and we are not sure that, okay, whatever character is occurring over here should be also occurring here as well and exactly at the same count. So we have to create a map and we have to keep a count of each character in a string and we have to expect the same number of count for T as well. How can we do that? So we will start iterating over each character in one of the string. Okay. And we will maintain a count. So if I came to A, okay, my count is Y. I got N, the count becomes 1. I get A again, the count changes to 2. I got a G, it is a new character, so count becomes 1. Then I have R, count becomes 1. I again get a A, count becomes 3. I get a M, count is 1. Okay. 
now i start it again in another for loop i start iterating the next string okay now i i check that i get a a i get a n so n was there count becomes zero the moment count becomes zero i will remove this key value pair from this map so n is gone now comes a a, a is over here in map the count is three it changes to two i get a g i get a g the count changes to zero the moment the count changes to zero i will remove this thing from the map okay i get a a i get a a again i remove uh, i de decrement the value by one it becomes one now okay now i, I get a r i get a r i change it to zero and then i remove it from the map I get a A again, I get it, I make it zero, I see that it becomes zero, then I remove this thing from map again. I get a M, I change the value to zero. I if the value is becoming zero, then I remove it from the map. Now all of this done, okay. We were successfully able to parse through the whole string, and then we can check that the size of this map should be zero, right? So there should be the map should become empty after traversing through the second string. This is very important. If somehow any character is left in this particular map, then it means that this is not a valid anagram. Let me tell you how. So let us take uh, add this example again. Okay. And the character tree uh, said the sorry, the character T is now uh, for example, gram. Okay, G R A M. Okay, so what was the hash map earlier for this? I had a, a of three. I have a n of one. Okay, this is n. I had a G of one. I had a R of one. I had a M of one. Okay, this was my hash map before. Now let me. Check it for grams. Okay, G R A M. So we have a G. I make it to zero. I remove it from man. map. I have a R. I make it to zero. I remove it from man. I have a A. Okay. I make it to two. I do not remove it from the map because it is still two and not zero. I have a M. I make it zero. I remove it from the map. We were successfully able to find each character of the second string inside the map but does that mean does that mean that if we were able to find every character of the second string in the map then it automatically becomes an anagram no right because there might be a chance that you might have not traversed some characters from the first string first few characters from the first string were left out okay that that is also a case and how can you determine that we skipped some of the characters from the first string during the iteration of the second string by checking the length of the hash map? This is very important. So if somehow the length of the hash map is empty, then it means that we skipped iterating few of the characters and this is not a valid anagram. So even though you check the size, you check the size of the map if it is greater than zero then return false for sure because you skip some characters and during the course of the time for example let's say if the given string 2 was a uh, gram or for say um, p gram okay p gram was the string so p is not present in the map okay when when we start iterating each character of the second string we check if p is in the map if p is not in the map what it means that so it was not present in the string one this is a completely new character for string one and it is not there in string one okay then it means that this is definitely definitely not a valid anagram so these are all the scenarios that we have to cover okay and we will see them in the code but before that, we will also, you know, perform a hacky way, uh, like one-liner code that will solve this problem. Okay, the one-liner code is very simple. So if you convert this string 
into a array okay let me okay let me show you so if you convert this string into a array you sort the array okay you sort the array and again come make it a string again okay sorry if you make it a string again and you perform the same operation for a string 2 then after sorting and creating a new string we can directly compare we can directly compare two strings right if two strings are equal okay we can directly compare so we will try this approach and this approach is uh, I think should be your first solution that should come into your mind. Okay, we will sort the array, we will uh, create an array, we will sort the array, and we will combine it to make a new string. And we will compare both the string if they are exactly the same string, then it means that they are anagram, otherwise, they are not anagram. The time complexity takes a hit because you are sorting it. And if I am not wrong, the uh, Chrome browser uses n log n time complexity to perform a sorting. So, automatically, your um, uh, you know, time complexity becomes uh, big O of n log n. So, what we discussed in the in the first approach was a time complexity of big O of n because we are only iterating the um, strings one in a single for loop. Okay, there is no n log n concept there, and the uh, space complexity is also big O of n because we are creating map of each uh, characters. Okay, so that is the thing. And uh, now let us try to uh, code this. So now, first of all, I'll show you that uh, hacky way one liner approach, like how we can do this. So as stated earlier, I will first of all create a, a you know array. So we perform it by split. We split the string to create an array. Then I sort the array, and then I create a string again by joining it. Okay, like this, like this. And I, I perform exactly the same operation for E as well. Okay. Now let me zoom out a little. And I need to try to run it for you. Okay. Something went wrong. One second. Okay. It was accepted for both of the cases. Now let us submit it. Cool. It was accepted and it beats 38.79%. Pretty poor. Okay. Let us try to fix it. Now let us come up with a good code. So, so let us recall everything we discussed on the whiteboard. We will check the length, then we will create a map and we will expect each character. If character becomes zero, we will delete it and we will check the size of the map and then we return true. Okay, so let us try to uh, check check this. So if s dot length is not equals to t dot penny, this term false. This is definitely not an anagram. Now I create a map. Points to map equals to new map and then i start creating a map from uh, the first string that is s so i will create i will iterate over the characters so this is how we iterate over the string okay for const character c of string s so if map dot as c okay if map dot has c then map dot set c map dot get c plus one else we set it by one what i am doing is i am checking that if we have encountered this character before then whatever was the previous value just increment it and update the set else if it is a if we are uh you know if we are uh, getting this character for the first time then set the value as one this is pretty simple 
now we will start iterating over the string t so for const character c of t and we will check that if if not map dot has c if it doesn't has then return false it is not an anagram okay if it is having a c what we have to do is we have to do map again we have to do this thing again let me copy and paste map dot set c map dot get c we in instead of incrementing we will be decrementing it okay map dot set t map dot set c minus one and if somehow map dot get c becomes zero then it is a very wise choice for us map dot delete c to remove it from the map entirely so that we can check the size of the map over here if map dot size is greater than zero and return false return true okay so this was the code and let us try to run it Oh, cool. Okay, the solutions were accepted. S1 in case 2. And let us try to submit it. Cool. So this code was much better, I guess. Great. Right. So this was all in this video. If you had any doubts or questions, do let me know in the comments. And see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye.